Okay, we just said it. This is real life. It's real. I'm getting my hair cut. This is like just a few more minutes that I can be one with my hair. Well, you could not be in better hands. I know what it's like to have different styles from long to short, to even a shaved head. But Steven Robertson, he's been with me through everything from one salon. And if you are thinking about doing what Saray's doing, donating her hair, there's some things that you need to know. So let's start there before we dive in and make the chop. But Steven, how are you feeling about all of this? today. You guys were in cahoots I mean, we talking like about it for a while. four minutes to cut <laughs> some hair. So. Usually you take two or three hours, <laughs> and so we just, yeah. four minutes is fine. Okay, when no, did you good. two start having this conversation, though? You know, we started talking, uh, I think it was like two or three weeks ago, she sent me some pictures of really cute uh, Gemma Chan. Uh, she has like collarbone length hair. Um, so we, I was planning on doing that for her, her next appointment, but then she texted me all of a sudden and was like, <laughs> do you want to cut off all my hair? We're donating it on, on the show. So that's so kind of what I we're doing. So I had to drag yeah. Steven here yeah. and do it. And yep. you were what, nervous or you were excited? I'm excited for the, like to see your hair short. It is a very tight time frame to cut your hair <laughs> it off. It is. You <laughs> can do it though. You're not going to leave her hanging. She no. will be going back to the salon after GTA today, getting yes. it all styled. Yep. So we we know it's going to be incredible it's because be you are at the helm, but let's talk about hair donating because uh, people have a lot of questions. I mean, you did leading yeah. up to this. So yeah. First of all, how much hair do you need to be able to donate? So we're donating uh, to an uh, organization called Wigs for Kids today. Um, their requirement, there, there are a couple other uh, organizations that do as well, but they require 12 inch minimum. Um, and Huntsman um, Institute, they actually recommended yeah. this organization and mm -hmm. you've worked with them. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah, at the salon, we like when people come in to donate hair. That's who we send our hair into. So they do require a 12-inch minimum uh, of length. They prefer a little bit longer if possible. We're going to be cutting around 13 inches off right oh, now. That's that's a lot. Okay, and you measured it all we out. We did measure. How, what yeah. was that process? What did you do? Um, I mean, she just came to the salon last night. <laughs> we started measuring it with a tape measure, but it'll put her about like right into her neckline. So she's yeah, gonna have okay. a pretty crop bob. We might go a little bit shorter today when we get her into the salon to up to her chin. We're gonna kind of play that out once we, it's once we get the length It's gonna be so off. good, but those chic, like micro bobs are in Cute. right now, so yeah. she's right on trend. Okay, so you sectioned it all out. I know some is yeah. left out, and why is that? So we have, um, a, there's a couple stipulations with donating. You can't generally donate bleached hair. Uh, in front of her hair, we have put like some bleach in it to where we put the highlights around face so we're leaving that out plus it doesn't meet the 12 inch uh, length anyways you want everything layered. in the ponytails to be the 12 inches uh, minimum so we have all these little ponytails sh sectioned off there's going to be four of them two in the back and then one on each side okay. um, you're going to secure it at the top and then ponytail it uh, all the way down about two or three inches apart from each other um, just so when it's shipped the hair doesn't fall out and like shift in shipping. So that's why they ask for it like that. So mm -hmm. once those are all together, you just bag them up and mail them off? Yeah, the, there's a little donation form you can print on their website to uh, like fill out your information and all that stuff. So this is just part of the sectioning. Yeah, so we have everything kind of pre-sectioned off, but we're, we need to add a little bit more, but I'm gonna pull this blonde out. Well, okay. and Saray's hair is so thick. So I mean, thick. a lot of this hair, I feel like will it, it will have a far reach, don't you think? Yeah, With I do. Wigs I think and various various wigs, various kids, because Saray, I mean, one of these alone, you guys, no joke, you think? is like it's an entire thick, yeah. ponytail. Okay. Well, it that makes thick. me feel good that it could go to multiple people. I yeah. mean, just one is great. Um, but well, yeah. Feel that. Okay, so how do you feel? Well, I'm just right staring now? at I'm staring at the monitors because I'm like, <laughs> that's my hair. It's going to be go like detached from my head. <laughs> Steven, I mean, that sounds through? aggressive, but yes, it will. But Stephen, <laughs> when somebody sits down and they say, I just need this complete refresh, I need to mark maybe a new phase of my life, I need the change, there's something that really reflects from the inside to the outside, what is that like to take them through that? I mean, I think people that donate their hair are usually to a point where like, I need a shift, like a shift to happen, and so they're already prepared for it, as opposed to maybe me, her coming in and me just saying, we should 
cut your hair off into a bob. There's a little bit deeper meaning behind yeah. the haircut than just the haircut itself. Yeah. Um, I ideally think her hair would look great around her collarbone, but because of the donation, we wouldn't be able to meet the length requirements. So we're just going to cut it a little bit shorter so we can donate it because we're really close to that anyways. I and then we're going to grow it into that collarbone that. right after. All right, well, let's get into it. Okay, next we are actually going to chop off my hair. And thanks to Len Salon for sponsoring this interview. Don't go anywhere. All right.